Well, this weekend, bagpipers and fans of the music have a chance to get together for a bagpipe swap meet. It'll find uh, no shortage of live music there and a chance to trade and socialize with other pipers. Cora Harlan joins us live from the Milwaukee Grange Hall this morning with all the details about this free public event and a little bagpiping to boot, Cora. <laughs> Boy, nothing will get you awake in the morning like the sound of bagpipes here from the Milwaukee Grange this morning. You're looking at John Goff of the Cascadia Bagpipers doing his thing here. What a beautiful, beautiful instrument that that is. I love the sound of some bagpipes as loud and as piercing of a sound as they may make. That's really awesome. I like the socks. I like the kilt. I like the whole getup. Perfect. That is perfect. Man, those things are loud. Oh, look, you don't need coffee with those things, do you? Huh? No, no, definitely not. They're pretty awesome. How long have you been playing this? I've been playing since 84. Yeah. This is not something typical. I mean, your kid takes home a viola, or maybe a trumpet, maybe a saxophone sometime. How did you get into playing bagpipes? My grandmother was from Scotland. Uh -huh. So my mom, when I decided to take up an instrument, she sort of encouraged me to play bagpipes. Yeah. It's cool. I, a lot of people sit around and play a guitar around a campfire, and I just want to take that guitar and throw it in the fire most of the time. But if somebody pulled the pipes out and played around the pipes, I'd have a couple more beers and start dancing around the fire. That sounds good. Uh, this coming Sunday, this bagpipe swap meet, tell me a little bit more about it. So it's basically uh, bagpipers and drummers and other people who have sort of accumulated gear and bagpipes or drums to sell them off. But then it's also going to have some live entertainment. There's going to be a couple bagpipers that are going to be playing on the stage behind you. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be uh, some cookies and tea and a couple cars from... You got a British, what do you got, a British uh, car group from uh, yeah, PIR on here? Huh? Yeah, they're the all, all field, all British field meet at the Portland International Raceway are going to have a couple of their, I think, maybe mini cars or something like that. So people can swap, swap gear, they can buy things out here. I would yeah. suspect somebody wants to buy a set of pipes, they probably could, right? They can, yeah. There's going to be people coming as far as Bend and Eugene, Seattle, and they're all going to be, you know, buying and selling various parts or whole bagpipes or kilts or what have you, part of the attire. You know, we, I have accumulated a lot of gear, and many others like me. And what do you, what do you guys play, guys and gals? What do you play? You play, I play at Irish funerals, I suspect, and, I, and, and St. Patrick's Day I'm familiar with. Right? Sure, what yeah. Is? Yeah, lots of Scottish events. Yeah. Uh, the St. Andrew's Society is putting on their annual St. Andrew's dinner on the 19th, the night before. So that's part of the Scottish uh, tradition and just funeral services and then also competing against each other. So at the Highland Games. Sunday? Sunday, this Sunday, the 20th from 11 to 4 here at the Milwaukee Grange. All right, fire him back up. We got 20 seconds to take you out here. I just love how he starts this instrument up there. Just starts banging it around. There it is. Boy, good morning. Good morning, I say to you there. That'll wake you right up. No coffee required here from the Milwaukee Grange Hall this morning, where we are getting ready for a bagpipe swap meet coming up this Sunday. Lots of cool parts on this thing. This guy right out of Central Casting here is perfect. Like it would be a very difficult yeah. instrument to play. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Yeah. It does. There's, a lot, there's a lot going on. You got to keep the bag full in the air in there. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then, and then you're playing, playing it. Yeah. Is that what it is? Because you you yeah. see him like he's you like know blow into, into it, but then but it doesn't go like coincide yeah. with when he's like moving his no, hands. No, exactly. You're, else. you're so squeezing like, air out of the what bag. Am I at? And yeah. That's that's how you're getting. And yeah. then wow. you're changing the pitch through the. So it's almost like a recorder, but with like way more coordination involved. That's So my my high school and college, we were the Shortcrest Highlanders. Oh, of Scotland, so we had a full bagpipe team with marching band. Oh my gosh! And um, I wasn't a bagpiper, but I was on drumline and in marching band, and it was a full-on just performance with our high school. They are pretty cool. It, it was a sweet music program, yeah. and um, yeah, bagpipes are really loud and they're, and they're awesome. <laughs> yeah, so they're really cool. I should have I saved my plaid for this weekend. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I could have worn it to yeah, the exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah.